when I do performances, I work with people's um, train knowledge, meaning, for example, I have worked with people who were um, previously called terrorists. I work with people who were paramilitary. I work with people who were police. But also it is a way for these people to have the chance to be there and tell the stories, even if it is through what they have experienced before. Here at the take the policemen and the horses, uh, they were like um, the mounted police. Uh, and we talked to them and they were the people doing the, the piece. And the piece consisted in, in the mounted police entering the space and corralling um, and using all the crowd control technique they knew with the audience of the museum. And I think even with them, and this is interesting, even people who are trained and when you tell them to do just what they know how to do, if they're too aware that they're doing an art piece, they become a caricature of themselves. So I think it's a very specific balance about the knowledge you're carrying and the behavior you have learned. For Artes Mundis, what I have decided is like, okay, we're going to do one piece inside the building but it's not going to be seen by people because it's going to be a workshop for kids. The kids will be the main viewer of the piece and the main participants of the work. So the grown-ups will be mainly either the parents or people who can come after when the kids finish their work and they can look at the, the drawings. Another piece will be um, only for the opening night which is uh, Tatling Whisper number five. And also again, it's, it's a kind of a ghost because it's going to happen and disappear. And then some trace will be there, which is just the videos. And the videos will be shown in the space where it happened. So it is this kind of looking at the space with the absence of the piece, which I really like. What I have decided as an artist is that I'm going to provide different level of detachment from the institution in terms of space. So, and also the second element is how am I going to problematize the viewing of the work? Because I personally, as an artist, I'm against um, having a kind of uh, paternalistic um, situation where the artwork is so isolated that it's too easy to know his art. So I'm really much in that I'm kind of the champion can I say but I'm really interested in the moment where the artist the artistic confirmation of the work has not been done yet. So you are still negotiating is this art is this not art you know. I don't believe in permanent art. I don't believe that art is a permanent condition. I don't believe art is a permanent situation. I don't think it should be a permanent object. And by having these special moments, I think it's working for me better.